Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I notice right now everyone has been discussing and talking about the upcoming Beatles, um, next uh, Beatles Deluxe Edition, which is going to be the Abbey Road 50th Anniversary box set. And that's really cool, and I've been, you know, taking part, and I've speculated, and, you know, and now it's, we have the official track listing. But the main reason I'm here today is because not to discuss that, not to discuss the Beatles, not to discuss, you know, Let It Be Next Year, but John Lennon. Uh, it's been a while since we've brought him up, and uh, I think we he deserves to be discussed right now because next year, well, he would have been gone 40 years, and we know, you know, he was alive for 40 years, and it'll be the 40th anniversary of his you know, untimely passing, um, and then on top of that, it'll be his 80th birthday. So, uh, 10 years ago, Yoko, for his 70th birthday, uh, 30th anniversary, Yoko reissued a lot of his albums on CD, uh, that was basically the big thing, the linen box set on CD, it had some bonus takes and stuff, so I'm wondering what's going to happen uh, next year, you know, what she's going to do. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there before I start this video, uh, you know, maybe to start, bring that up as a discussion piece, uh, start thinking about maybe so, uh, a few people can make some videos about it. Anyway, so I thought to get into that, I would do an unboxing video of the John Lennon Anthology box set that Yoko had put out, uh, I believe in the late 90s, 1998. So... Here's the sticker, let me show you. I don't know if this is going to be backwards for you or not, but there's that. I'm using my laptop to do this. Uh, we're having some trouble with the camera right now. Uh, 94 previously unreleased tracks, including intimate home recordings, live rarities, and illuminating alternate takes of his most classic songs. This, so far, is really the only official release we have of, you know, uh, John's uh, solo career, you know, some some uh, a retrospective of his entire solo career of uh, a lot of unreleased material um you know they, there's the lost linen tapes radio show none of that was ever officially released um on to vinyl or cd there's tons of bootlegs of it but this is the only official release that we've gotten so i'm hoping you know with these box sets that are coming out now the abbey road stuff the beatles stuff mccartney's ongoing archive collection and then last year's uh, Imagine, uh, Yoko finally got around to doing a big deluxe edition of Imagine. And I'm kind of glad, and I love Imagine and everything, but I'm kind of glad that period is, you know, she's already done that. Because um, it's kind of the most focused period of John's career, you know. And, and I love that period and everything, but it's like, okay, well, come on. Look, can we talk about mind games or walls and bridges or double fantasy or any of the other stuff he's done why does it everything always have to be about imagine right so i'm kind of glad that's done and out of the way so maybe for the the 40th uh anniversary and his 80th birthday she could focus on you know some of the other stuff and uh that'll be pretty cool but continuing reading this uh, meticulously assembled by yoko ono this four disc ultimate linen collection also contains a 60 page book notes by yoko ono and Anthony D. D. Curtis, exclusive photos and original artwork that reveal again and again the genius of John Lennon. And then it has a track listing. So let's open it up. I've been wanting to get this for a while now. And I just got around to purchasing it. I don't know what took me so long. I own everything else that they've released for John. Uh, I own that all of his albums on vinyl. I own that CD box set I was discussing earlier. Okay, so here we go. So here's the box set itself. So this slips off like so. Very, very neat. So you have John at the piano. I don't know if you can see real well. You have John at the piano on one side. 
some of the lyrics right here on another side. Very cool. And then the CDs themselves sit like so in the side. So let's check it out. Disc one is Ascot. And this all features John's hand drawings. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Has a picture of Tintenhurst right there. Okay. And the track listing, I don't know if I should go over it. There's a lot of it. Uh, everything from Working Class Hero, you know, early, so all the early stuff. Uh, working Class Hero, God, I Found Out, Hold On, Isolation, Love, Mother, Remember, Imagine, Take One. Fortunately, uh, a little talking piece between him and Yoko. Baby, Please Don't Go, Oh My Love, Jealous Guy, Maggie Mae, How Do You Sleep, God Save Oz, Do the Eyes. I don't want to be a soldier, give peace a chance, look at me, long lost John. So basically the Plastic Ono Band and Imagine Sessions will be on CD1. CD2 is titled New York City. So that's his move to New York City. From when they were filming a, the Imagine films. And as a quote, if I'd lived in Roman times, I, I'd have lived in Rome. Where else? Today, America is the Roman Empire. New York is Rome itself. Yeah, it's, uh, of course, I'm one of the few that believe uh, that if he would have stayed in England, he'd still be alive, but we don't want to get into that right now. But um, anyways, uh, track, uh, track listing is as follows. New York City. Uh, demos, Attica State Live, Imagine Live, Bring on the Lucy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say this, uh, but if you want to see John's explanation of this song, it's on YouTube, and I, I really agree with his explanation. But uh, this woman is the end of the world. Uh, Geraldo Rivera, one to one concert uh, outcut. Um, it's so hard. Come together. Happy Christmas. Look at the Irish. John Sinclair. The David Frost Show. Mind Games. Uh, I promise is what it started out with. A demo for Mind Games. Uh, Make Love Not War. Demo for Mind Games. One Day at a Time. I Know I'm the Greatest. Good Night Vienna. The Jerry Lewis Telethon. A Kiss is Just a Kiss. Real Love. You Are Here. So this is, you know, basically the sometime in New York City period and starting to get, you know, 1972 era. Uh, the Lost Weekend, my favorite period of John, um, just because the music he was making was so incredible. Those three albums are just amazing. Uh, the Mind Games, Walls and Bridges, and I, I personally love his covers, his rock and roll covers from the album Rock and Roll. But anyways, here we go. Track listing, what you got, nobody loves you when you're down and out, whatever gets you through the night, studio and home demos, yesterday, parody, bebopalula, rip it up, ready teddy, scared, stealing glass, surprise, surprise, uh, bless you, going down on love, move over Miss L, ain't she sweet, slipping and sliding, Peggy Sue, bring it on home to me, send me some loving, and some uh, interlude of Phil and John, uh, Phil Spector and John. Discussing things. <laughs> uh, Be My Baby, Stranger's Room, which is an incredible version uh, that I believe later became... Uh, uh, I'm losing you. I love Stranger's Room, though. Old Dirt Road. Okay. So, I guess we got a picture of John. CD itself. Uh, quote, yes, we were separate, separated in the early 70s. She kicked me out. Suddenly, I was at on a raft alone in the middle of the universe. I was just trying to hide what I felt in the bottle. I was just insane. It was the Lost Weekend. So that's from when he split with Yoko. And Dakota. Uh, the fourth and final CD. Some of his last work here. It's him and Yoko walking in 
the park, Central Park, late 1980. It's kind of dark. Yeah. Uh, the track listing is as follows. I'm losing you, Sean's little help. Serve yourself, my life. Nobody told me. Life begins at 40. I don't want to face it. Woman, dear Yoko, watching the wheels. I'm stepping out. Borrowed time. The Rishi Kesh song. Sean's loud. Beautiful boy. Mr. Hyde's gone. Don't be afraid. Only you. Grow old with me, dear John. And then they have something more, uh, which I, I believe this is some, uh, some of this stuff is from 1976 uh, through 1980. The Great Walk, Mucho Mungo, Satires, 1, 2, and 3. I think that was just recording his audio journals. Uh, Sean's in the Sky, some more dialogue with uh, him and Sean, and it's real. Okay, so that's very cool. And I've heard all of this. You know, I've had it, I've owned it digitally for a very long time. I just haven't bought the, uh, you know, box set. There's a book that comes with it. Again, some of John's drawings. Book. Some introduction. Some great photos in here. John and Sean. Looking back, it was the happiest and therefore the most tragic period of our lives. As John said in his song, you don't know what you got until you use it, until you lose it. We thought we knew, but we really didn't. Yoko Ono. So, there's some great pictures in here. A lot of information to read. There's John dressed up as Santa Claus. Got the lyrics to all the songs. There's John and his son Sean in Bermuda. I believe that was 1979, or yeah, I believe that was 79. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So, anyways, just wanted to share this and get everyone talking about what uh, the future could hold next year for his the 40th anniversary of the loss of John and also his 80th birthday. I'm sure it's going to be pretty big. Also, I'd like to add that I just watched the John Lennon Above Us Only Sky documentary on Netflix. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. For a long time, I was like, ah, you know, I'm sure it's just the same old footage we've seen over and over. No. All new footage. Haven't seen probably about 80 to 90 percent of the footage there uh i really really enjoyed it and i really enjoyed you know john's message that we've all heard and it's it's pretty sad you know when you think about then versus now i don't know anyways uh yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, comment below what you might think we'll uh, get next year. And yeah, have a blessed day. Thank you all. Bye-bye.